Hello friends, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. We're gonna read some poems from our girlfriends. And it's good because all my poem reading is done. So Damn it's it. just you. Here we go. Just you time. Me and my nasal self. I made a good choice picking only one of the main characters. But you do have to do the narrator. So. I do, and he sucks, but he that's does. fine. We're doing Natsuki. <gasps> Well, it's not really any worse than your last one. It's as tailored to you as it was to Sayori. <laughs> Come on, Natsuki. But I can't really say it's any better either. Fear. Huh? Fear what? Uh, well, anything that isn't a train wreck, I'll take as a win. And I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Wait, maybe that was a compliment? <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing and maybe you'll get as good as me someday. That's... Uh, something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. Come to think of it, it kind of remind reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Eh, you think so? Yeah. Well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might uh, be on the same wavelength. But you never really struck me as her type. Sayori has a type all of a sudden? Well, I don't know. But honestly, how can someone so... Uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? Fluffy? I'm cute as heck! <laughs> it's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Wow, you are so rude. That was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away, like a letting go of a balloon. You could say we take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. Natsuki, why'd you suddenly get rude? Mm -hmm. Like... She's always rude. I know, but it was, like, charming, but that was just rude, rude. No, think about what she was saying to Yuri yesterday. You didn't like Yuri, so it felt like... Okay, Yuri was but... also rude yesterday. No, I agree, but they're just rude people. I guess so. <laughs> Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She oh, probably... wait, nope, sorry. You skipped some. Shit, sorry. Um, one time I hurt my... I'm sorry. Oh. There you go. <laughs> one time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Hmm. I actually really like that That poem. was very good. It's... I... Natsuki's funny! I She's grown on me in a big way. I like that poem a lot. That's my favorite one I've read so far. Yeah, no, I'm into it. Again, her point is get to the point. <laughs> Which, and it's you know, there, yeah. yeah. Damn, I like that. Hey. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my... That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of people finding out. Uh, if people find out, they make fun of you or think less of you. So, uh, yeah. All right, I thought this during Yuri's and I kept my mouth shut because it felt too early to tell. Um, but at the moment, it seems like all of these guys have something, some like silly hobby they're keeping secret. And it sounds like, you know, it's trying to decide, like it's designed to make you think that Natsuki's is that she likes anime and she's ashamed of it. But you think it's and like- And Yuri's is that she, I don't know, something. Something, something. and Monica has a secret. Yeah, and they all, and Monica's was piano, but she might have something else because but she had But she a, seems she like she's like very a, keeping- She mentioned she had like a, like a, 
I'm not a reckoning. There's another like a an epiphany. Yeah, an epiphany. Yeah. So clearly they're all into something They've that's not some literature. Secret. But it, to be honest, and this is such a weird reaction, that kind of bums me out. In, in that like. I would love, I really liked Natsuki's little poem, and I uh -huh. would really love it to just be about her relationship with other people, and that, you know, she feels like she can't be herself around them, but it's probably about summoning Satan, I don't know. I, honestly, well, I, I have no fucking clue I don't know, I don't going. know, but, but okay, like, now, long story short, we do have a, a, a clue. We have which secrets is everybody from has each secrets. of us that we need to get. Sayori hasn't really given us any nah. hits yet, but, but maybe this, is, this has been today yeah. a recurring theme. So Sayori well, Monica's have, been like, giving a... secrets since yesterday. Yeah, um, but now so we is have Yuri. Yuri. This is Natsuki's first secret. Yep. But Although, Natsuki's been keeping quiet. It also quiet. could be she keeps almost saying things and then not. And yeah. again, we're led to believe that what she's trying to hide is her manga collection. But, but we'll like, see. yeah. No, but we know it's mon it might be just other interests. No, but too, there were like other things where she like started to talk and then looked at us and then didn't say it. Yeah, but then also they've been very clear on Monica's been like, Your manga collection is in the room. So it's well, like they're yeah. pretty blunt about it. Well which she makes... clearly does have a manga yeah. collection. The question is, is that what she's keeping secret? Probably not, but I mean we'll see. Yeah. Uh okay. <laughs> Sayori's the only one that I'm like, we would know. I also best friend. I know. I love I do I will I like all joking aside. I am delighted by the situation this game has put us in because this conversation we're having is, well, Natsuki's secret is either a secret manga collection or cannibalism. It's one or True. the other. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's see. Um, okay. Sorry, anyway. <laughs> no, it's good. Um, but that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes? As long as they're not hurting anyone, it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. That's funny. Yuri wrote a poem, uh, wrote about something similar today. Huh? Did you say Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. It's interesting. I wonder what would have happened if we had them in reverse. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, this is cool. I didn't really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things. Really? Well, I mean, Yuri's pretty weird, so I wouldn't doubt that she has some weird hobbies. Not that her, there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> mm. uh, <laughs> Ooh. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Natsuki has trouble finding words. I, I, I guess I should try to not be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message of your poem. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that! I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, too, so look forward to it. I am, actually. I like poem reading! Yeah. This is a fun part of the day! I like this game! No! Alright, Sayori, what you got for us? Yes, my girl. <gasps> look at how cute she is! <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe, I really love your poems. I can't believe you've been hiding these from me. It's not hiding it. I'm not hiding anything. But... Your poems are so good. Yesterday's and this one too? You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I mean, you're really the only one who feels that way, so... Huh? No way! Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much she likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I guess I'll be honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Ooh. Oh, man. Look at eh? him. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I'm just mean that you're a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking. Let's not talk about that. Maybe don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 
I guess what I'm saying is that I can feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. We have that, uh, we have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting in my business all the time. Eh? I don't know if I understand. <sighs> you never understand when I try explaining things to you, do you, Sayori? I pat Sayori's head. <laughs> hey! I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Mmm, maybe. <laughs> Sayori starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, Roscoe? Will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Hmm? Why? Because, well, it's the first time you've written something for me. Technically, <laughs> yesterday was way more for you to this than today. This is true. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> uh, are you even least listening anymore? Can I read your poem? Give me your poem. <laughs> you gotta share it too. I feel very seen. Yes. <laughs> well, whatever. I am visible right now. <laughs> very visible. I'll give it to you when we get home. Really? Snap. You ah! broke your pencil. I broke my pencil. Sayori hastily bends down to pick up the piece she dropped. But being inattentive to her surroundings, she bumps right into me. I'm so sorry. It's fine, it's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down to pick up the broken pencil. Sayori clutches the desk beside her, behind her, beside her to support herself, knee shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. A little bit. <laughs> Let's sit down, Sayori. Yeah. I grab Sayori's arm and help her sit at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Sorry, did you get a really bad concussion? I think she might have. <laughs> I'm concerned. Yeah. I'm actually worried. Yeah. She did stay in that one position for, for a, a very, long, very time. long time. That so. would hurt your knees, Sayori. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Battles. Bottles. Bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. What the fuck? Why did dreams activate you? <laughs> uh, little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe, and I put the bottle on a shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and bottles all in a row. Sorry. My oh, it's long. Okay, sorry. Nice. Uh, my collection has lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight and uh, to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave. Discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging. Scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through the locked front door. Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. fi fi finally? Finally. Sorry. Finally all, al fa all done. I open up and in comes my friends. In they come in such a... H h hurry. Hurry. Sorry, I'm looking at it from an angle. Um, do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull all of them from the shelf, one after the other. Holding them out to each and every friend. Each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. That was really interesting, Holy Sayori. Shit. <laughs> That went some places. I, I liked that. I knew it was going places when it started off with scalp, and I was like, okay, scalp <laughs> that like the lid of a cookie jar? Yes, yes, yes. I liked that. No, that was really good. It's also, like, again, super interesting imagery that makes, that, like, is surprisingly clear and connects really carefully yeah, to they're getting better as they They are. Also, something I really didn't like in her first poem, I actually very much did like in this poem. The which weird is, rhymes? Exactly, because she did it twice and it, it added emphasis. Yeah. So things that, you know, in the first one, because it was so short and so kind of disjointed, it didn't work. Now it's found on um, kind of teeth. Yeah. Um, 
That's cool. Friends and Amends is a good rhyme. Yeah. Um, Caps and Elapsed. I was about to say, really I was good. looking for it. I was yeah. like, there was another one. Caps and Elapsed was really nice. Those are two really good. I don't like Mordor, but that's fine. No, but I'm resigned. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's it's the Spongebob musical that says drawer yes. instead of door, and I'm like, yeah! Yeah, they subvert that <laughs> shit. you! Um, By the way, Spongebob musical, fucking excellent. Listen <laughs> to it. It's so good. No, it is. Now, once again, this is one of those, she hasn't drawn attention to um, her secret or clearly her whatever. poem shows that she has yeah, some... Yeah, especially the, they're not, like, my friends who aren't smiling, and they're shouting and pleading, and maybe that w has to do with the scene yesterday. Maybe. Because it did reduce her to tears. Yeah. And frankly, if she felt that strongly, That's I can imagine... That's a great thing to write a poem Yeah, about. so yeah. that makes sense, or it could be dark, which is a stupid freaking... I know, I know. of this video game. I know. Okay, liked it. Sayori, beautiful word. I feel like I was a little condescending towards you yesterday, and this I take good. it back. This was yeah. very good. Roscoe, I think, liked yeah. it too. Holy crap. Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's always kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Not you, creepy, but creepy. I don't know. Maybe because I used- to, I'm so used to you being cheerful? Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. You should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like- I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten really passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Okay. Don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's always had this habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it uh, no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. She has been in this club for a semester, so like... Well, yeah, hypothetically. I guess. Yeah, uh, but seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay, everyone. That was fun. I enjoyed myself. That was super fun. Do you wanna do you wanna see what comes next next time? Sure, I'm gonna save. Save that shit. Save that shit. Monica is on screen. We gotta save that shit. <laughs> That's the new tell. Whenever it's like Monica whenever I see Monica. Uh, all right. Well, I really had a good time. Those I hope were some you, good poems. I know. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm genuinely enjoying this game, and like. I don't want it to get scary. No, I like I, it when it's happy. I don't either, but. You know, we're in we're in it for the long haul, so um we'll see what happens next. I guess so. Alright, bye friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs>